I know most of you, but I'm Rex Chisholm from Northwestern University, one of the co-chairs of, of this meeting. Um, I, I'm actually really delighted to see everybody here uh, pulling this meeting together. I think it came together at fairly short notice, as many of you know, because you were asked to do something like three days ago. Um, but it's really an effort to uh, move forward. It's a very important uh, strategic area for NHGRI, and obviously, I think, a very important strategic area for uh, all of us in this room. This is actually a series of meetings. NHGRI organized a meeting in Chicago last uh, June. I think many of you attended that. Uh, it was a terrific meeting. Uh, there was a lot of really good exchange of data. And I think probably the most important, you're going to hear some detail, a detailed overview of that meeting in a few minutes. But for those of you that didn't attend, and, and even for those of you that did, I think there was a lot of really great data sharing. And I think one of the things that uh, came out of that was there is a lot of activity in this area of uh, genomic medicine. Uh, we heard, and I'm sure um, Eric Green will expand on this when he makes his comments, but. One of the interesting uh, things that we heard at the NHGRI strategic planning retreat that ultimately led to the, the current strategic plan, I know Eric will mention that, um, was a meeting at Airly House in, uh, I think, July of last year. And that meeting was interesting because there was a fair amount of debate, a very vigorous and active debate, about just whether or not genomics was ready for prime time. And I think one of the messages all of us came away from the Chicago meeting was it's definitely ready for prime time. And any of you that happen to turn on the news in the morning as you watch, uh, you know, brushing your teeth or whatever, may have seen an ad that appeared this morning uh, from a local healthcare organization that touted how genomics was going to be the future of medicine and they were going to be the ones to apply it. So obviously, it's now in the public domain in these places of, of, I don't know this healthcare organization, I won't disparage it at all, but uh, one worries that there are people out there that are hyping genomics and genomic medicine, and so it's the group in this room that's really going to be the ones that make that happen and make it real, I think. So uh, we need to take ownership and make sure it, it, it actually moves forward in a reasonable way rather than in as a, as a hype way. So this is the second in the series of meetings. Uh, this uh, meeting has is, is been funded by uh, NHGRI, and then there will be a third meeting. We'll talk more about that later, uh, May 3rd and 4th in Chicago. So uh, there will be more activity along this. The goals for this meeting are to develop ideas for multi-center collaborative pro pilot projects in translational genomic medicine. And we've really organized the meeting around trying to get people together in groups so that you can A, hear about what kinds of projects are going on. All of these are projects, by virtue of the fact that they're being presented, that are open to other sites becoming involved or replicating at their local site. So the idea is we want to try to maximize these kinds of interactions and start to uh, get uh, some network sort of self-organizing. We want to learn about new projects that are ongoing at each of the sites represented in this room. And an another important issue is we want to identify infrastructure needs and possible solutions to speed up the adoption of uh, genomic medicine. And again, NHGRI, together with the Wellcome Trust, last week uh, sponsored a meeting that uh, at least several in the room were at to look at one of those uh, areas of infrastructure, which is uh, databases, sort of what we're calling the ClinVar, Clin Action uh, space that was uh, to look at database structures and how one goes about defining what a clinically valid or clinically actionable uh, variant might be. And we're going to hear a summary of that meeting, which just happened Thursday and Friday from uh, Mark Williams in a, in a few minutes. And then we want to establish mechanisms for sharing of best practices among genomic centers. And um, there, obviously, one of those mechanisms are, are meetings like this, but there's been some discussion about whether we should have a more formal structure, and I think maybe we'll hear some more about that a uh, bit later on in the meeting as well. So, um, oh, 
Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure that I, we did this before we got too far. I wanted to also thank the people that made this meeting possible. Um, Mark Graves from Northwestern and Ian Marpuri from the uh, NHGRI were really the folks that many of you interacted with and uh, w we wouldn't be sitting here without their hard work. Similarly, Maureen Smith uh, from Northwestern and of course NHGR for funding. And just so that you can see who to blame if this all falls apart, uh, here's the coordinating committee uh, for, the, for the meeting. So uh, more importantly, if you have any suggestions about what we should be doing at subsequent meetings in this series, uh, any members of this group would be delighted to hear from you. And I'll call out Dan Roden in particular because he's going to be one of the leaders for the next one that will happen in May. So, sorry, Terry. Thank you.